Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns, and in this video, we're going to be diving into the world of AI agents. What if I told you that you could add three new team members to your business without increasing payroll, and that these team members could work 24 seven, they never need to call in sick, and they can complete tasks fast. Well, this is exactly how businesses are using AI agents to change the way that their companies operate. And it's not just giant corporations with massive tech budgets, but the small businesses too. So in this video, I'll show you how custom AI solutions are helping small businesses like yours revamp their operations, increase their ROI, and also implement automation that reclaims hours of precious time. I will start by understanding, well, what exactly is an AI agent? And no, the AI agent doesn't look like any of those robots that we saw before. It actually looks something like this. Now, basically an AI agent is what allows us to connect our large language models like ChatGPT to external tools like Gmail. Now, in this simple workflow, it says that when a chat message is received, the OpenAI chat model can also interact with the Gmail tool. So over here in this chat window, I can type in a message like send an email to Prof Patterns asking them if they would like to collaborate on a video on AI agents. I can see that there's no email that's sent right now. And after I execute this workflow, we see that the AI agent allows the OpenAI chat model to interact with Gmail. And then over here, we see that the output or the email has been successfully sent. So if I go here back to my email, I can see that, look, an email shows up. And we can even expand the simple workflow further by providing models with more tools like calculators, web search, and even thinking capabilities. So in essence, AI agents are smart software systems that are designed to handle specific tasks on their own without requiring constant supervision. They're like digital employees that can handle all of the time consuming tasks while you can focus on growing your business. It's been predicted that small business owners will ramp up their use of AI agents to help them manage all of their businesses. Why? Well, because these tools have finally become accessible, affordable, and also convenient because they're specifically designed for businesses without a dedicated IT department. Now, small businesses will typically implement three types of AI agents. The first are the customer service agents. So these agents engage with customers, they answer questions, and are capable of resolving minor issues 24-7. The second are the data analysis agents. These will continuously monitor your business metrics. They'll identify patterns and also alert you to opportunities or problems before they become critical. And third are the administrative agents. So these will handle things like scheduling, document processing, and other routine operational tasks. What's really exciting is how fast businesses are using AI agents to get ahead. Companies that use them have reported 7% higher customer satisfaction scores and also have had their operational costs reduced by up to 31%. If you're wondering how real businesses are putting AI agents to work, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Let's say that there's an e-commerce shop that sells specialty products, for example. Now, assuming that this shop was having a hard time keeping up with customer questions on multiple platforms, well, they could use a customer service AI agent to automatically handle incoming questions across their site, their socials and texts, instead of hiring and training new employees. So this is what a customer support agent looks like. Now we start all the way over here, which is our search for any unresolved long lived Jira issues. So Jira is the platform that we use to keep track of customer support tickets. So what we want to do is to run this on a scheduled trigger. Now we can define the schedule. We can say we want this to run every single day, every week, every month or whatever. The goal then is to get a list of any unresolved long lived issues. Again, that's another parameter that we can define. We can say, well, if a issue is longer than seven days, let's call this a long lived issue. After that, we go into the second node, which retrieves and combines all of the Jira issue comments. From there, we go into the classify the current state of the issue node. So this is number three. So what we do over here is we send all of those issues to a large language model, which then determines is the issue resolved? Is it pending or are we still waiting? Let's assume that the Jira issue, the customer support issue has been resolved. What next? Well, that's when we go over here into the sentiment analysis node. So this information gets then passed into a customer satisfaction agent. The goal of this agent is to determine that is the overall resolution positive? Is it neutral or is it negative? If it's positive, then let's ask for feedback and then close the issue. If it's neutral, let's add an auto close message and then close it out. And if it's negative, then let's send a message to the Slack channel and report an unhappy resolution. Now, if the ticket is pending, what should we do? Well, that's when we go over here. It's notify for unanswered questions or response waiting. So it first determines is the last message a bot or not a bot? And then it goes into the issue reminder agent. So 
This then sends a reminder to the Jira ticket that, hey, you know, no one's actually responded to this issue in more than seven days. And then lastly, if you're still waiting on a resolution, this is where the knowledge base agent comes in. So what they try to do is they try to actually resolve this issue by themselves. So we make use of the OpenAI large language model. It also has access to all of these similar issues that it would have seen in the past, as well as the query knowledge base. So this is all of the information uh, that it has access to that it could use to help resolve this ticket. Then it checks, is the solution found? If that's true, then let's reply to the issue. If the solution is not found, then let's notify the Slack channel, reply to the issue, and then simply close out the issue. Let's analyze another hypothetical. Say that there's a dropshipping business and that they're struggling with tight profit margins because of rising costs and also inventory issues. Well, the business could benefit from using a data analysis AI agent that's able to track inventory, supplier performance, sales patterns, and also pricing all in real time. So the implementation of this sort of an agent can help the business indicate areas for where they can save on costs, improve analysis efficiently, and also help make quicker decisions in real time. All of which will help improve this dropshipping business's profits. Now, if you're curious about how implementing an administrative AI agent works, imagine that there's a solo um, attorney who spent most of their time doing admin work instead of actually helping their clients. Well, this person can set up an admin AI agent to handle things like client intake forms, scheduling, document prep, and also any follow-up emails. So this new workflow will help them save so much time from the nitty gritty so that they can actually shift their focus to working with the clients. As helpful as AI agents are, setting them up does come with its fair share of challenges. There's a need for technical skills. While you don't need to be a full-on coder, you do need to understand APIs, data structures, and also integration protocols just to set things up right. Second, integration with your existing business systems can be quite complex. Your AI agents need to work seamlessly with your current CRM, accounting software, inventory management system, calendars, and also any other tools that you rely on on the daily. Third, effective AI agents aren't just one size fit all. They require customization to align with your specific business processes, brand voice, and also customer expectations. And then finally, these systems need ongoing maintenance as well as optimization. As your business evolves and AI capabilities advance, your implementation needs regular updates to maintain the highest performance possible. Now, most small business owners who try to set up AI agents on their own usually spend about three to six months before everything is fully working, and they hit a lot of bumps along the way. This is where working with pros can make a huge difference. Hiring experts who specialize in setting up AI agents for small businesses cuts down the time dramatically from months to just a few weeks. You start seeing real results faster, your system actually fits your business instead of feeling cookie cutter, and you don't have to become a tech expert to use it. Plus, when you work with pros, you get customization that actually fits your business. You also get clear training and documentation so that your team knows exactly how to use the system. Lastly, you get ongoing support whenever you need help instead of wasting time digging through online forums. The bottom line here is that professional implementation helps you get up and running faster, better, and also with a lot less stress. Now that you understand the potential of AI agents and why setting them up correctly matters, it's clear that they're really changing the game for small businesses everywhere. So if you're ready to explore how AI agents can transform your specific business, click the link in the description below to explore our AI implementation services on Fiverr. We specialize in helping small businesses just like yours automate processes reduce costs, and also scale operations without hiring additional staff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on business automation tools and strategies that give small businesses an unfair advantage in today's competitive landscape.